Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, organize your workspace and create a custom workspace in Photoshop. To start with, let's go ahead and create a new file. So I'm going to select new file. I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Make sure artboards is unselected. And then I'm just going to set my resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. And then I'm just going to have my background content set to transparent. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. By default, Photoshop has some uh, preset workspaces that you can work with. To find these options, you're going to click on this icon here on the right. And then you'll see a list of these different uh, workspace titles. So currently we are in the essentials workspace here, but you can select a different one and you'll see that um, different menus will uh, pop up depending on the workspace you are using. So if we select photography, uh, different things will change here. So we'll click it back to our essentials and then we are going to uh, go ahead and open up some windows that we will be using. For this course, I'm going to show you how I like to work in Photoshop, but your preferences may be different. You can customize the workspace to um, how you like it best. To start off with, I'm going to take my tools and I'm going to move them from the left side to the right side. So just selecting here, you're going to drag it and then I'm just going to bring it here. That way I don't have to go uh, back and forth from the right to the left side. Everything is just here on the right. Next, I'm going to bring my layers panel and I'm going to create a second uh, column here. That way I have more of the panels open at once and I can see what's happening. Next, I'm going to take my swatches over here and I'm going to bring it below my layers panel. We'll also move a color behind the swatches here. Here I like to have my patterns panel. So if I just open this up, I've got a bunch of different patterns here um, saved throughout. So we'll just minimize that there. But here's the patterns panel. If you do not see any of these patterns, you can always go to window and then you can just select the patterns from here. So the next one I'm going to select is the actions panel, which I don't currently have open. And then I'm going to add uh, drag this actions panel here to the bottom. We'll go ahead and move that to the side here. I'm going to move my properties behind my layers. So we have layers properties here. I like to have uh, my patterns here and then uh, actions. I'm going to get rid of some of these ones here. So you could just right click to close adjustments, right clicks to close. And then um, we'll put our, and then I'm just going to go ahead and close these ones as well. And then you can also adjust this here if you want it to be uh, more space at the top one or the bottom one here. When designing in Photoshop, the main panels that I like to you have open are here, the layers panel, the patterns panel, and the actions panel, which uh, currently is empty. And then the swatches panel where you can save your color palette. And then also moving that toolbar to the right side so everything is here on the right and you don't have to go back and forth from right to left. Once you get the workspace the way that you like it, you can actually save this as a new default. So we'll click back on this workspace icon and then you can click to save a new workspace. And then you can give it a title. In this case, I'll use pattern design. And then we'll click save. Thank you for watching this video on how to customize your workspace in Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.